Hey folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to add push notifications to your Flutterflow app. In order to get push notifications working, we need to make sure that we've added Firebase to our Flutterflow project. So we can go here into the Firebase settings, and as you can see, we've already associated this Firebase project with this Flutterflow project. So if you haven't already, watch the Getting Started with Firebase tutorial in order to get this set up. Once that's done, there's a couple more steps to make sure push notifications work on iOS devices. So first of all, you'll need to create an Apple developer account if you haven't already. And you'll need to create one anyway if you want to deploy your app to the App Store. So you can do that here at developer.apple.com. Um, we already have an account, so I'll click on account here. And where you'll need to go is certificates, IDs, and profiles. What we want to do is create a key. So we'll hit this button here to create a key. And we can call this push notifications key. And what we want to enable is Apple push notification service. This is how Apple makes sure that you're the one actually sending these push notifications to your users. So we'll hit enable, continue, and register. OK, so what we see here is the key ID. And we can download our key here. Great, so now that we've done that, we need to go to Firebase and go into Project Settings, Cloud Messaging, and add our APN authentication key here. So we'll hit Upload, and we'll find the key that we just downloaded. So that will be this. Key ID, we can find the key ID right here. And if team ID is not already associated, what you can do is find this here under the membership tab and copy paste that into here if it's not already highlighted. And all that's left is to hit upload. OK. So now that that's all taken care of, push notifications should work locally. But if you want it to work when you deploy your app, which I assume you do, there's one more step you'll need to take, which is to add an identifier for the image notification, which is required for Apple if you want to be able to show images with your push notifications. Um, so as you can see, we've already created one here, but I'll walk you through how to do that again. So in identifiers, uh, you'll register a new identifier app IDs, app, and we can call this, you know, uh, image notification or something more creative than that. Uh, and the bundle ID that you'll want to put here has to match the exact one in Flutterflow. So for us, that's com.flutterflow.sniffsocial. And we'll want to put that here and then a period followed by image notification, and then hit continue. And finally, register. OK, so after doing all that, we are now ready to enable push notifications inside our Flutterflow project. So to do that, we'll go to the app settings and then go to push notifications, hit enable. And then you'll need to deploy the cloud functions that allow you to send push notifications to users. So let's do that. Awesome. So now that our functions are deployed, we'll now see this menu where you can actually manually trigger notifications from Flutterflow. So here you can set several different values, the notification title, the notification text, and you can add an image to send. So now that we've set these values, we can see our preview over here of what it'll look like when we actually send this notification. So there's a few more things we can configure as well. So we can set our target audience. Um, you can sell, send it to all of your users, just iOS users, just Android users. 
Uh, then there is user references. So if you want to target specific users from here, you can do that as well. Um, you just need to pass the mana as a you know comma separated list. All right. And finally, we can set what page users are directed to when they open your notification. So in this case, we want to show off the dog of the week. So we're going to show the post page. Now you can also pass in parameters into this page. So for the post reference, um, we want to send this particular post. And for the user record, we want to pass this in as well. And here you'll be able to pass in any other additional parameters um, that the that particular page takes in. So now that we're all set, we'll hit send notification. Now, because it's really easy to annoy your users with notifications, we wanted to add an extra layer to make sure that you're really ready to send this particular push notification. So you just need to type in send notification to confirm that you're ready to send and hit send. And with that, we're done. Now let's just take a quick look at what the experience looks like on the actual device. So here we see the notification. And when we click on it, we're directed to the dog of the week. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.